Hello, welcome to a My Mini Maths video tutorial where today we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting a mixed number and a fraction with the same denominator. So let's begin with addition. So first of all, the order does not matter. So let's have a look at that. We may have one and three fifths. And if we're going to add four fifths to that, that's exactly the same as saying four fifths add one and three fifths. All we've done is swap the round, but it's exactly the same calculation. Now, there are a couple of ways uh, we can approach this. So let's have a look at the first. So if I rewrite the question, one and three fifths add four fifths. The first thing I can do is separate the whole number here and the fractions here. Okay, so let's add the two fractions together. So we end up with four or uh, three fifths add four fifths, which is seven fifths. Now we can't use seven fifths in our answer. So we're going to need to from the improper fraction into a mixed number. So let's have a look. Seven divided by five. So how many fives fit into seven? Well, that's one. And that leaves two fifths left over. Okay. Now we've also got the original one here in blue. So if we add that extra one here all together, we're going to have two and then the two fifths to give us our final answer. And of course, this can be converted from the mixed number into an improper fraction. So we've got two whole pizzas here, each with five out of five in. So all together we have five fifths, another five fifths, that's 10 fifths, plus the two fifths here, that's going to be 12 fifths altogether. Either of those two answers would be perfectly acceptable. But don't feel that you do need to change them because you don't have a whole number answer. It's something to consider for SATs, okay? Okay, I'm looking at the same question again for a second example, a different, a different slightly different approach. We can convert this mixed number here into an improper fraction to begin with. So the one means we've got five out of five and we're gonna add the three out of five to it. Okay, so that gives us a total of eight fifths. We're then going to take the four fifths and add that to it like we're questions asking us to. And altogether, we have 12 fifths, just like we did in the previous example. And again, you don't need to change that because it's not a whole number answer in sats. But if you do wish to, it's no problem. 12 divided by 5. How many 5s fit into 12? That's going to be 2. And then there's going to be 2 fifths left over. Next, we're going to look at some subtraction examples. So 2 and a quarter. And I'm going to subtract 3 quarters from the 2 and a quarter. So what we're going to do is convert this mixed number here into an improper fraction. So we have two holes here, that's four quarters, four quarters again, and then we have the single quarter. So all together, we have nine quarters, and then we're going to subtract the three quarters for a final answer of six quarters. And because we don't have a whole number answer. We don't actually need to convert it for sats. Uh, it just increases the chances of making an error and losing the mark. So be careful with that. But uh, you can, it's, it's a good idea in the classroom, especially to practice the conversion between mixed numbers and improper fractions wherever you can. And to give a little more detail on that original subtraction question, if we take the two, we can look at it as two whole bars. And then we could take another bar, split that up into quarters. Okay, so here's our two whole bars and a quarter. There's a quarter there. Okay, now we're going to subtract the three quarters here. So I can subtract a quarter here. So that's disappeared. 
if I break or separate my next hole bar into quarters as well, I can remove two more quarters. So I can remove another quarter here and another quarter here. So all together, we are left with one hole and two quarters or a half. Okay, that's everything for today. Hope you found that helpful. Please subscribe to the My Mini Maths video tutorial YouTube channel. There you can get the latest news, videos and updates. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.